Welcome. Today we would understand the binary equivalent for a negative number. Now, when we are working on negative numbers, first thing is to keep in mind that we'll just do a division by 2 and find the binary for the normal number. So let's say I have to find it for minus 19. So I'll keep this minus sign aside and solve it for 19. So when I solve it for 19, it says 2, 4, 1. So you have 2, 2, 0, 2, 1, 0. So that's how you have the number. So it becomes 1, double 0, 1, 1. Now this is the binary equivalent for 19. Now since I have to find the binary equivalent for a negative number, I'll have to allot this negative number some value. So I'll just put a 0 here signifying that this 0 in the initial signifies that this is a negative number. But for questions like this, I'll have to see the machine. So let's say if it's an 8-bit machine, since you have all the four choices that are given here are uh, 8. Okay. So what we have to find out here is this is an 8-bit machine. Now my binary equivalent for 19 is 10011. But before that, how many zeros I'll have to place? I'll have to place three zeros. And these three zeros are basically signifying the negative sign. Now, what I do in this case, if there is nothing that is asked, I by default take a two's complement. If it is mentioned that you have to take one's complement, then only you will go for one's complement. However, even for finding a two's complement, you will have to first land on to the one's complement. So let's take this as an example. So I make it a kind of eight digit number. So you have zero, zero, zero. That's three separate. I keep it a at a little distance from here and I have the number for 19 that I have found. Now when I find out the ones complement what it would be I'll just flip the digits. So when I'm flipping the digits 0 becomes 1 so 1 1 1 1 becomes 0 so it's 0 then you have 1 1 0 0. So that's what is the ones complement for this number. Now what I have to find out is 2's complement because I am given that I have to find out a binary equivalent for minus 19. Since nothing is given whether it's 1's complement or 2's complement, what I need to do is I'll have to find out 2's complement. So finding 2's complement is pretty simple. What you have found out in the 1's complement, you would simply add 1 to it. So when I say you are adding 1 to it, what would it become? So it would become 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and that would be my answer. So here all these three ones would be denoting the negative sign and the remain uh, the remaining number would denote the negative the number itself. Okay, so that's how we find out the negative uh, negative binary equivalent of a negative number. Now again one important thing to uh, note here is since it was 0 here I could have simply added 1 but in case it was 1 1 and I had to add 1 then what would be the case? You would have 1 1 addition of 1 and 1 in binary would be 10 so you would have 1 here and again 1 and 1 would be 10. So the number that would be formed by adding let's say 1 1 uh, with 1 would be 1 0 0. So let's say if it is 1 0 0 1 1 and I have to add 0 0 0 0 1 then my resultant answer here would be 0 0 1 0. So that's how we do it in binary. You can't say simply 1 plus 1 would be 2 because it's a binary addition. So here this was pretty simple because it was 0 and adding 0 uh, 1 to 0 was simple because you were simply adding 1 to the last digit which is already 0 so it would be 1 and that's how we calculate the binary equivalent. So from the choices we can say this B1 would be the correct choice for this question. So that's how we calculate a binary equivalent. Now based on the choices if it was just 6 digits I would have just removed the first 2 digits and taken the last 6 digits into consideration. 5 of which denote the number 19 and digit, 1 digit that's 0 denotes the negative sign. So that's how we calculate a binary equivalent for a negative number. Very very important concept. We have also talked about the fractional decimal numbers and the binary equivalent for the same. So stay tuned for further updates. Have a great day.